That is where you will be in a few weeks, carrying the war to the Axis. This is what you must learn in a short time to beat the Axis. You will take our bombers through to smash the Axis. You, and you, and the guy sitting next to you. And you, and you, and you. Every man in gunnery school must want to be a gunner. Otherwise, he'll waste his time and ours. Every man must want to get into this fight, win it, and finish it. He must want the added rank and pay of an automatic sergeancy at the end of only five quick weeks. He must want his badge of courage and skill, the gunner's wings, which prove him a flying fighter. You'll be wondering exactly what you'll do in gunnery school. When you first report, you'll be assigned to a small group of men called a flight. After one big assembly of all of you, each instructor will collect his flight and call the roll. Jefferson. Here. Jones. Here. Lamano. Here. Pulaski. Here. The same instructor will stay with you throughout your training. He is the boss. He will take charge of every hour of your training. His job is not to pass you or eliminate you, but to teach you, to see that as far as possible, Every man in the flight understands his job and becomes a first-class gunner. Your instructor will report on the progress of each hour spent by each man. A daily progress sheet will record his report on your work hour by hour. You will be wondering what the hours on this chart stand for what you will be studying during the time to come. First, you will meet your closest friends, the 30 caliber machine gun and the heavier, harder hitting 50 caliber. You will have to be intimate friends with these guns so that you can call them by their first names. Bolt, barrel, cover plate, lever, slide, spring, pin, and stud. You will learn how to take the guns apart and how to put them together again. You will learn what each part does in succession when the gun is fired. You will learn what to feed small guns and big guns and how to doctor them when their digestion goes bad. And after you know your guns, and what happens when the trigger is pulled you will learn about the path of a bullet's flight. Now, the instructor will show you that a bullet flies a curved path. And you will have to find out why, if you want to shoot straight. The problem of hitting a target with a bullet that drops and drifts will bring you to the question of sights. You will make the acquaintance of ring and bead sights and reflective or optical sights. Your introduction to sights will bring you to problems of sighting at a moving target. A gunner uses his sight to figure how much faster or slower than himself an attacker is flying. The instructor will show you 
how to estimate the apparent speed of an enemy by how long he takes at a given range to fly across part of your sight. During these same beginning hours, you must get the feel of your finest aerial gun platform, the power-driven turret. For several nights, you will have a chance to get used to different kinds of turrets mounted on test stands. You will move the guns as if you were tracking an enemy fighter. The feel of the controls will become easy and natural. Later in the course, you will have to learn how these turrets are put together and how to install the guns. Turret manipulation brings you closer to fighting in the air. The bombers which carry these turrets fly at high altitudes where the air is cold and thin. A medical officer will tell you what clothes and equipment keep you fit to fight high upstairs. Up with these bombers, in your turret, on constant alert over long hours, your fellow crew members depend on your being strong and fit. You will have the chance to prepare yourself for this, too, in gunnery school. <laughs>